She said you would come here, to this place. If you think you can defeat me here, you are wrong. All this collected knowledge, all these teachings of combat and the Force, they are mine to command. And if I must use it to end you, I will. Surrender. You need not die. Atris? That is not who I am, not any longer. She has not existed for some time, I think. There was always something else within me. It just took time for its voice to be heard. The old woman you travelled with finally made me listen to myself, to the galaxy. She said that you would come here, and that you would face me in battle. Yes, the Sith are here at last. You have brought them to this place as I had foreseen. It has all been part of my plans for you. And when I defeat you and the forces you have brought to Telos, I shall take the battle to the heart of the Sith and wipe them out forever. I do not know, yet, but it does not matter. They have come here to face the Republic in battle and they will be destroyed. Yes, the Sith are here at last, and when I defeat... These Sith are cowards, striking from the shadows to kill Jedi. I needed a target to draw them out, but I could not risk my own life, all that remained of the Jedi. So I arranged for you to return to the Republic, leaked information of your past, and then waited for the Sith to come. And they did. But you came to Telos against my predictions. Now they are here, I can finally face this enemy and defeat them. All the knowledge of the Sith, gathered from across the galaxy, brought here by my servants so that I might uncover their secrets and use them to track them down. But now they have been drawn from the shadows of the Outer Rim and the only final matter to attend to is finishing you. Surrender to you, never. Let us end this.
This knowledge of the Sith and the Jedi is what I am. It is my attempt to hold on to the past, to try and protect the future. Once I was a historian, the chronicler of the Jedi, and when both wars passed me by, I was determined that I would not forsake battle again. In some part of me, I knew I had made choices, compromises, but always for the sake of the Republic of the galaxy. To do what you had done, at times, did not seem so wrong. You're right. The Jedi were all that seemed left to me, and yet I had become so far removed from them that I betrayed them. You always knew where they were striking from. You always knew. These Sith are spawned of you. Spawned by the Mandalorian Wars. All those deaths. All those Jedi. Their power is to feed on life. Until nothing is left except a hollow galaxy. Echoing with the screams of the Jedi lost to us. Yes. I had thought she was awaiting me at that place. But I see now that she lied. It was not meant for me. But for you. She has gone there. She is waiting for you to travel to Malachor 5 to finish what you started. Yes, you are an echo in the Force. A hollow space where it has been wounded. It takes a great act of destruction to create such emptiness. But it can be done. It creates places where the Force is difficult to hear and difficult to find one's way. And you carry it with you, always. Now she seeks to create another echo. A wound in the Force, greater than the one before, greater than the one you caused. It will deafen all touched by the Force until no life is left. You were strong enough to withstand it once, but few have your strength in such matters, especially if they are unprepared. I do not know, but she needs you there. If you choose not to follow, she will murder herself at the heart of Malachor and you will die along with her. You are important to her somehow, but I... But I do not know for certain. She is willing to sacrifice herself at the heart of that graveyard world for you. A choice others have made in the past. A choice I wish to make. It is because I care for you. And I suspect that you alone hold that place in her heart where nothing else lives. And that is why you are the only one who can stop the destruction to come. She seeks the death of all Jedi, all Sith, and the death of the Force. It is madness. It is impossible. But she believes you are the key. There are places in the galaxy dead to the Force where nothing lives, where the Echoes travel forever and do not reach their destination. And these places may be created even from the simplest of events, the slightest of motions. One person, at the right place, at the right time, can change the face of the galaxy, or end it. You're important to her somehow, but I... But I do not know. And what will you do with me now? Abandon me here on this dead world, or end my life as I wish to end yours.
It does not matter. Not now. It is what I did with such pain that caused the wound. But I thank you. Leave now, while you can. Save Telos. Save the galaxy. Save yourself. Save Lightus Neck Well, what do we have here? I didn't believe it when Lino reported the Ebon Hawk at dock, but I guess it really has. Though given the trouble we've been having, maybe I shouldn't be surprised to see you. <laughs> Lieutenant Gren, Sith forces have breached the module and are attempting to pen us up in the compound. Damn! Zeron, I need you and your men to break through and lead the assault. With pleasure, Lieutenant. All right, follow me. It came out of nowhere. A fleet of warships dropped out of hyperspace, and before we could scramble fighters to intercept them, we were under attack. There were Sith fighters everywhere, and the few flights we sent out were barely launched when the bombardment began. We did our best, but we couldn't stop the landing craft that followed the initial wave. We couldn't hold back the Sith troops. We chose to retreat and began the evacuation instead. Then there's also the fuel situation. Because we don't have enough fuel, we won't be able to keep the station in orbit and operational and fight off the Sith at the same time. We'll try to make the best of what we have left, but it's going to be cutting it pretty close. The Sith numbers seem limitless, but we haven't lost all hope. We've heard reports that we might be receiving some assistance. A squad of troops sent by Queen Talia are currently trying to keep the Sith from sabotaging the station's fuel system. Does this mean you won't be putting us into force cages again? If you need to get to the Ravager, then you're gonna have to fight your way to the shuttle from here to the entertainment module, then make your way to the docking shuttle. Good luck! Sith are trying to hold us up in this compound. We need to break through or our reinforcements won't be able to move out. Now let's punch a hole in this Sith barricade. If you want to get through to the eastern part of the module, you better get going.
Thank goodness you're here. You just can't seem to make any progress against the Sith line. After they established their position, they brought out their turrets. They've been devastating our numbers. Uh, we managed to take a few out, but they just keep unloading more of them to replace the destroyed ones. It's up to you to help us throw them back. We gotta get them cleared out of here, and then we're ready for one last charge. All right! Everyone provide covering fire for the Jedi, then advance on the Sith positions. We'll be right behind you. Good luck. Good luck, ma'am. Good luck, ma'am. We're counting. Good luck, ma'am. We're counting. Something up? Thank <laughs> you. 
you in the assault. These rank and file soldiers will do you no good aboard the Ravager. Let we Mandalorians lead the charge into battle and to victory. <laughs> 